Hi, this is Andy from GPS Training. In this video, we're going to show you how you can download GPX root files to a compatible Garmin watch on an iPhone from the cheviotround.com website, where there's a great new round challenge just under 52 miles in the Cheviot Hills in Northumberland. So I'm using an iPhone today, and we're just going to show you how you download the GPX files from this website using the Garmin Connect app, on an iPhone to then send those root files to a compatible Garmin watch. I'm using the Instinct 2 watch today. You could be using something like a Garmin Phoenix watch, as long as it's a watch that's compatible with GPX files from Garmin, and we're using the Garmin Connect app with this video on an iPhone. So on the cheviotround.com website, if I touch on the menu at the top, we've got the home menu where there's lots of information about this challenge round that you can scroll around and read and a video to watch with an overview. You can see an overview map of the route. If I touch back on, back on the main menu on the top of the website and go to the round option, you can see here I have options of downloading GPX files. So for the complete route, I can see there's a clockwise or an anti-clockwise option. You can also download various legs as well, where I can see a leg one here. And you're just looking for the option where it says download file underneath the option download GPX file below. So what I'm actually going to do in this example is do the complete route clockwise. So where it says download, I'm going to touch on the download folder um, icon and it's got the word download on my iPhone. So I'm going to touch on downloads and that will actually go to the downloads on my phone. So you can either go to your downloads and open it that way with the Garmin Connect app. What I can do is a shortcut here on the iPhone I'm using. It's got a little down arrow on the bottom of the screen now showing that it's just downloaded that file. So if I touch on that little down arrow in the bottom left, I can actually go to downloads straight from here. So you can see my option for downloads. So again, it doesn't matter how you get your downloads, as long as you can find the downloads on your phone. Then I've got the GPX files in my downloads. And what I'm actually going to do is touch on the little icon that looks like a sheet of paper with the blue lines on it to the left. And if I touch on that there, it opens up some text on the GPX file. That doesn't really mean a lot to me, but what I'm looking for is the share or open with option. So on the iPhone I'm using today, it's the little arrow up symbol in the bottom left of the screen in the square box. If I touch on that, it's basically saying, what do I want to open this file with? So I'm going to select the app. Garmin Connect. So you may have find you have to scroll through the different app options to find the Garmin Connect that you must have on your phone. And the first thing the app does when I've said I want to open this GPX file with Garmin Connect is what type of route is it? So this is a trail running route predominantly. So I'm going to select trail running. It then shows me an overview of the course. What you need to do is just scroll up from the bottom of that overview map where there's a little grey line and you'll see the elevation plot. And if I keep scrolling, you'll see the course name. So it hasn't actually put in the course name. It's just taking some data from the map that it's in the Morpeth area. So I need to just touch on there and change the name to something that makes sense. In other words, I'm going to call this Cheviot Round Clockwise because that is how it's going to appear on my watch when I transfer it. You can abbreviate the name to a shorter name if you want. So I could put RND for round and then CW for clockwise and then just the return button on my keypad and then the little blue arrow top left so that means i've changed the name i would also make sure then that you've got turn notifications turned on so where it says turn notifications that is turned on so if your watch does have turn alerts you will get the turn notifications and then just save at the top the option of whether it wants to be public or private I'm going to leave this private. I'm not sharing the route from my Garmin Connect with anyone else. And then when I've done done, you'll see an option at the top. It's like a little blue phone symbol with an arrow. If I touch on that, it gives me the options of which devices I've got connected to the Connect app at the minute. So I've got the Instinct 2 Solar Watch. So I'm going to touch on there. And it now says time to get running. Course will be available when the app is synced with the watch. What I normally do to make sure it's syncing okay Blue arrow, top left of the screen, I touch on there. Blue arrow again, I touch on it to go back to the main menu. And you can now see a little green dot 
next to the watch symbol at the top of the screen with a white circle going around the watch. That shows it's syncing. I can see the two white arrows spinning around. You do need mobile data or Wi-Fi connection to sync these routes that you've imported into Garmin Connect with your compatible watch. So I need to just wait until that white circle is complete and then that course will be ready on my Garmin watch to load. One little tip we have done on the app, you'll notice along the bottom of the screen, I've got an icon that says courses. It's the third icon along. So if I touch on there, I can see any courses I've imported into the app so I can resend them to a device. So again, I could select this Cheviot round one and I get the option again. I can send it to the device with the blue phone symbol at the top or the three blue dots. Let me edit and I can edit it and then give it a name again by swiping up, change the name if required, make sure I turn notifications are on, and then you would just remember to save if you've done any editing. How we've added that courses menu at the bottom, because I know that's not normally there as default on a iPhone on the Garmin Connect app, it normally says news feed. What we've actually done is touched on the more setting at the bottom right of the screen, and then selected edit, top right and you'll see I've got courses added so I've actually just removed that for a second and put it how it is as standard when you use the app normally you see challenges calendar and news feed so what we did when we went into this edit earlier I removed the news feed by touching on the red circle with the white line scrolled down to available features and added courses with a little blue circle and white cross and must remember to touch save at the top. It just means for speed, it's really easy from the app then from the main menu to go to the courses menu and find any courses that you potentially want to resend to a device by touching the icon that looks like a phone and an arrow. Picking the device you want to send to. So again, it was the Instinct 2 Solar I've got connected and sending that to the watch. But I hope you found this video useful on going to the cheviotround.com website downloading the GPX root file and then opening it with the Garmin Connect app on an iPhone to send to your compatible Garmin watch. For lots more tips, GPS Vice, GPS online courses and GPS products and watches, please visit www.gpstraining.co.uk and thanks for watching this video.